Hey, Jim here from K2 Concepts. We're shooting a real quick video on what causes foam or bubbles in your tank. Um, there are a couple different reasons, uh, but I'm going to demonstrate uh, one of them as far as water level in your tank. So, first and foremost is that if you guys are experiencing foam or water in your tank, there's really nothing in the tank except for activator and maybe your filter material. So if your filter media, especially if you guys are using like a blue or a white uh, uh, foam material, I've noticed that that causes a lot more foaming and bubbling and it's because of the, uh, uh, the chemicals that are in our activators, they're actually attacking your filter media, okay? and that's causing some of the foaming and bubbling that you guys are seeing and if you guys so uh, whoever you're buying it from or made the tank or whatever are not educated enough to tell you that uh, what they're using is causing that then they're misleading you so I'm just gonna set things straight we use a green filter media uh, it's you can find it it's just a cheap uh, uh, air, air conditioning furnace uh, media I've seen it in this uh, green hair and maybe a blue hair uh, But if you are using like a closed cell foam white or blue That's uh, like designed for swamp coolers or the intakes on swamp coolers I notice that uh, the chemicals in our activators will usually eat those and cause a lot of foaming and other things in your tank So that's the first thing there's nothing in your tank except for activator and water and the only thing that's in between is a filter so that's the first place I would look second of all is that some of you guys are saying yeah my my water level is fine but in fact what happens is if you've got a strong enough pump it'll start the water swirling once it gets to a point where it can pull on that water it'll start swirling and create a vortex kind of like a toilet bowl effect and it'll actually pull that uh, uh, air down into that vortex and get into your pump and the problem is that uh, your, your water level set so you've always got water going in but your water level isn't high enough so once it gets a little bit low it may not be low enough uh, below the the inlet of your pump but if it gets low enough to where that pump can pull it'll start swirling that water and it'll pull air into your pump and you won't notice it because every time you turn off you look down there yeah your water level is above the pump but it may be just low enough to where it's pulling air into your pump now I'm going to demonstrate we've uh, uh, drained our tank down we're cleaning it so the water level is low enough to where we don't have to worry about that I'm going to kick it on and you're going to see as the water level starts to pull down into the sump, you're going to see that vortex effect. All right, a couple different times usually. All right, so switch the camera around. All right, so it's usually right in that area. Uh, okay, so let's kick the pump on. And you can see this is our inlet right here. So it's a good four, maybe five inches below the water level. It'll start to pull the water level down. Now it'll go low enough to where it'll actually pull in, but that's not the point. What we want to look at is you're going to see a disturbance on the water in here where it'll start pulling and swirling the water and sucking air down. Um, so here you go, I'm going to kick it on. But it doesn't take much, especially uh, you know when you guys are pulling parts in and out of your tank, and uh, you guys uh, uh, got a little bit of evaporation going. It does not take a lot to pull that water level down just a little bit, 
couple inches really and to where you can have some of those problems. So we'll raise the water level up just about there. Okay. We're going to turn on again. We're already starting to get some swirling. We're already starting to pull. Right there. Now you can see the water going in. Boom. So anyhow, um, the purpose of the video was to let you guys know that you got to pay attention to the water level in your tanks and you guys have to pay attention to how the tanks were designed. The lower the sump uh, inlet, the better off you are in these kind of circumstances, especially when you're trying to pay attention um, to water levels. And, and like I said, it, it doesn't have to be all evaporation. It could be you guys pulling parts in and out, but you'd be surprised how much, how many gallons you lose in your tank uh, on a day-to-day -day basis just through natural evaporation. So, thought you guys would find that interesting. Uh, oh, forgot the beer. A little Takati for the haters. Okay, join us on the forum, k2forms.com. You can email me, k2forms at gmail.com. Uh, activator, activator guns, and other supplies. Get them on k2shoponline.com. And that's it for this one. I hope you guys have a good day dipping. We'll talk to you later.